Welcome to day two, Stamp Camp Week of Webisodes. We're back. We are back, and we've got more <laughs> things to share with you. More great techniques from Teresa's Stamp Camp 4 DVD. Right. We're going to show you a few of them. We are. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Now, as I said, we're starting again with Teresa's mm -hmm. Stamp Camp 4, and we're delving deeper into it. Now, I did show you yesterday that this is the first thing that will pop up when you place this into your computer. By the way, Mac or PC right. is going to work perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then when you click on any one, then you will see this. Well, let's see. I showed you Chapter 3 yesterday, so maybe right. I'll show you chapter five So if you today. click on chapter five, this is what comes up on your computer right. screen. Very often there will be two projects, sometimes there will be one, it just depends on what's going on. Right. This happens to be the chapter on stencils, we're going to be looking at this today. Mm -hmm. We're also going to do a little bit with dies and die cuts. So Which this is cutting kind dies. Of mm -hmm. strange because it's stamp camp, but you're going to see how to use those right. for stamping. And I guess like I said yesterday, grab your ink pads and you are going to be good right. to go. <laughs> and I do, I think I want to, I, I think that you said I want to make sure that uh -huh. you understand this is a computer DVD. Right. It's not made to go into your DVD player, it's made to go into right. your computer. That's where it will work. But it will have the 100 projects, eight hours of video, and yeah. uh, 69 techniques. So that's what's going to be happening. Okay. So we're going to start with our first project. And what I love that Teresa does, and she does this all through the DVD, is she takes a product, an item, like a stencil, and she shows us how to do different things with it. In this case, stamping with a stencil. Right, and <laughs> stamping in reverse. I mean, you're gonna see the reverse right. image. So. And this happens to be using the snowfall. You know, right. there's lots of stencils you could use. And she also used watercolor paper again on here because right. that the water that's going to be used in this is really gonna soak in and give you a watercolor effect. And you can see the look that you're getting. So you're kind of getting a uh, watercolor variegated tones mm -hmm. both there and then there's a stronger color combination on right. the inside. So not quite as distinct an image as you would get if you were using a stencil in the normal way. Right. That's the watercolor look. So, so you're going to bring that over? I am. I've got the craft <laughs> sheet. And you know, never uh, underestimate the value of these craft sheets. That's they, for sure. <laughs> they're really, they're slick surfaces, so they're easy to clean off. All the different things that we're using, they're going to wipe right off there. You mm -hmm. can use it over and over. It'll keep your... You uh, cut one down. I did. You did. Here's, this is a cool thing. When it gets a little older, and maybe got stains that I don't want to mess with I just get a new one they're not very expensive and I actually cut it up into smaller pieces so that I can use it you know oh. when I'm traveling or anything like okay. that so I've got a piece of watercolor paper I've got the craft sheet there here's that snowflake stencil and one of the distress ink small sets the mini sets that's been used here I think this is number five I'm not sure but it's in the DVD so that you'll see uh, number so five number five <laughs> but there are actually two that were used so a little bit from one a little bit from okay. another and I've got three of the pads uh, pulled out here so I start with that stencil Move it off to the side here. Open up all three of these little ink pads and I am immediately going to mix up the lids. So okay. I, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> and then I'm going to start <laughs> inking. <laughs> I'm going to start inking the stencil. The stencil? The stencil. Okay. So I'm going to put that ink directly onto the stencil in some different areas. Just sort of sketch it around in different places like this move on to a blue and I can sort of sorry mix them I'm just up. gonna do this As if you're reorganizing <laughs> I am I try to oh, keep you, you organized. Oh you know which ones they are I yeah. really I really was just gonna look at it afterwards <laughs> and just figure does that go there? It gives me something to do. <laughs> I'm let's well, see here's the thing I get involved in the art process and I just don't worry about those other little unimportant things to me. <laughs> well and what's funny is that if you would see my office you would know I'm not tidy but for some reason in doing this I am. Okay. Okay so, enough about us. Okay enough about those so what I need to do yet next is get my spritzer this is a really fine mist spritzer and I'm going to add a little water to the back of that stencil 
and then I'll be stamping with it. So just a little bit. Teresa says, depending on how much water you use, it's really going to make a different image every time. Yeah. A little bit of water. If you add a lot of water, it's going to be much more of a mottled uh, right. watercolor look. I'm going to lay that right down onto the paper, and I'm just going to press it on. And underneath, you can sort of see the water moving around as it's um, going it's on kind to of that paper. bubbling up. Isn't it, it is. It sort bubbles. of moves around yeah. the more I push it. I want to make sure it's on there. Then I'm going to lift it. Ah! And Teresa used a paper towel afterwards okay. to blot some of it up. Does that sound right? Yeah. yeah. It's a little different than how you experienced it, it maybe? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. And there okay. we go. So, that's so this didn't one get look. quite as much of the image on it, right? Okay. All right. So there are I different ways. I think less ways water. Do, uh, mm -hmm. Less water mm -hmm. would do that. So I'm going to show you a couple of different examples here. I think maybe you did these. Right. And a little more water, maybe we'll get more uh, more Let ink try all something. over. What's going to okay. happen if we put water on it now? I think it's going to help it to bleed, bleed a little bit. Or, yeah. So. So you can get a different look. Right. Now, I think maybe if I put water, look, let's do it again. You want to try it again? There's less ink now, but if I add more water and then just put it on there on the other okay. edge there. Let's see what happens you'll there. get even more. And then lift it. Ah, even okay. more of a water color. More water color. Every, every look is different. <laughs> so you've got those two looks. You've got these two looks. So play around. You could even get the the paper, I think, a little wet before you did this. That's true. That's to true. To get a different look okay. entirely. So you see some more demos going on right. on the on it. Now this is a different look. In this case, we're actually using the stencil with water, and that's kind of a surprise. Right. So the stencil we're using is the ferns. Um, I love the the greens behind this. And in this case, you're first taking your paper. And what paper are we using? Is this one? This, this is just regular, regular cardstock. Card okay. This one. Right. So you're inking it up and using uh, the distress inks again. Right. And as you can see, you've kind of got lighter in the center. Mm -hmm. Teresa's had it a lot darker. Oh, so darker that in the may make a difference okay. in how much contrast you're going to get. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I she used two, and these mm -hmm. are the larger pads: bundled sage and forest moss. So I put the bundled sage all over the whole thing, and then the forest moss around the edges. That sort of created a little halo there. Now you, I could add a little bit I more would. right now. I would. Okay. I think it'll be more successful with Should that I use contrast because water is going to kind of bleach these. it out and right. um, you want to have a contrast. So you might just do part of it, and then you can do the stencil maybe mm -hmm. over both and okay. see, well, see what happens. Well, I don't have the little thing for my... I don't have thing. the little thing for my doohickey. I'm really sorry so you don't have a little I might thing just have to use, for your doohickey. I might just have to use the pad directly to it. Sure, go for okay, it. Okay, let's do go that. Go for it. So I'm just going to apply this on there. I'm just going to yeah, a little circular, get it a little bit darker in the center. Don't go all the way, because I want to see part of it light. Okay. Okay, so part of it dark. We'll experiment part of it here light. on camera. Here we go. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get that onto a craft yes. sheet. And I've got the fern stencil. And I masked off the fern that I want oh. to use just with some sticky notes, or you can use stencil tape. Put it right on there. And then I'll put it why on don't the you, edge. Yeah, why don't you go like that? Okay. That way we've got a light and a dark. All right. Will that and, work? And I think I'll cover up the other parts oh, of the paper. Oh, smart idea. So that we won't ruin the rest of it. Smart idea. Then I will spritz it with a little water. A little water. Just a little water. Just a little. Does that seem okay. like enough? We'll find out. Okay. You might want to do a little more. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing on this, it's kind of like if you've ever done bleach stamping, it it takes time to okay. do it. So um, I can see it developing ah, already, though. There you that. go. So while that's developing, isn't that neat? That is neat. I'll make sure there's no water on the back. You know it. what? I think I might Do have been wrong. Because <laughs> look, maybe. it's no. showing nicely ah. in the light area. Okay, so let me move it over into. There's a little bit sure. more light here, sure. which would be your area, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's all right. You know, that's what I love about crafting. It's all about experimentation. And you keep all of the pieces that you use, and you can use them in different ways on different projects. You know, I agree with you. It can be about experimentation, but I kind of don't want to take my time to do ah. that. So I like having, OK, here's what Therese has done, mm -hmm. and this is going to work. Then I'm more confident. I don't have to do all of the extra. Right. And look at that. Okay, Isn't now, that neat? And here is an example, though. I, I do feel like I put a little bit too much water on because it, huh. it bleeded through. A little underneath. bit. Okay. So I like I like the clean image that was the lighter. popping over on the other end. So okay. anyway, beautiful. And you do need to let everything dry, so mm -hmm. that's going to happen. So there's one so version of it. So it's a great it. little ghosted image. Right. It's just a beautiful And here's silhouette. the other image. So she did two cards this time and just did a very fun look with both of them. So I like the idea that you can do different things. And I have mm -hmm. to believe, or my belief, is that stencils are highly underrated. I think that oh, they yeah. just do so many things. I think embossing folders fall into that also, that they just, um, there are so many things you can do with sure, them. Sure, you can use them in a most basic, very obvious right. way. Oh, that heart is just beautiful. Isn't that pretty? That's yes. gorgeous. And oh. you do get a variety of colors behind it, just depending on what inks you've used in the beginning. So, mm -hmm. very nice. Now, what are you getting ready over there? Oh, well, we'll just go ahead and take the next one, that okay. one right on top. Okay, we're, we're going to do this. <laughs> right. Now, this is using your... We're going to talk about this a little bit. We're going to talk about this. Right. This is using your embossing folder as a stamp. As a stamp. Right. So this was not embossed. It's it not embossed. Stamped, it's flat. But here's the embossing folder that was used. It's like that. One wind of and my waves. my favorites. <laughs> I love the wind and waves. And on the silk screen side, when you open it up, that's the side that, that depresses, mm -hmm. that goes down, and that... So this is raised. Right. Well, the, both sides are raised to a degree. You've, yeah, on this side, right. you've got the design raised. On this side, the design is depressed, and mm -hmm. recessed, and so you've got all of that background is raised. So the silk screen side. And so the silk screen <laughs> side, the background raised side, that's where you want to ink. And again, it's going to be one of those distri mini distress mm -hmm. ink sets. Big Several little. different colors. There's, I see in the picture here, there are some greens, or see on the card, some greens, Olive. some grays, maybe a little blue. And you just ink all over that, and then you just put it right onto your paper like so. And press. Right. And there you go. And that's what you get. Mm -hmm. So you can use your stencils as a stamp. You can use your embossing, embossing folders, folders as, as a stamp. stamp. You now have, my friends, three times the amount of stamps you thought you had. Woohoo! No problem at all. <laughs> Just really, really neat. I love the, the embossing on top. You can use, oh, oh I had, right. um, there's a, like a sensational sage is a similar to ah. this, to this embossing powder. Some different options, find some embossing powders that match that. I just, I just love the little green look that goes with it. Now on this next card, we know about this wonderful product that is the, um, uh, what's it? The glass glitter? bead yeah, glitter thank gel. You. Thank you very Looks much. Like glass that. bead glitter gel. Mm -hmm. Now we've used it with a stencil, but Teresa took it a step further and she did something with the stencil first that right. I we do it all the time. It's a I little just, surprising, though. You don't yeah. think of it. It's a two-step process, and mm -hmm. you're going to start with ink. So I'm just going to show you part of this, and that because I got my craft sheet, I'm covering up part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so here is pink cardstock. Okay. So you set your, uh, you tape down Use your stencil. stencil using stencil tape, and then you're going to use one of those mini distress ink sets because it's got all these great complementing colors. There's a couple of different sets that Green's we use. Green's not in there, yeah. That's correct. Okay. The worn lipstick is this, this one and I think peeled paint is the green from another okay. set. You're going to ink through. So this has been inked through and you're not seeing that on the stencil and because you can I use, replaced this. Um, you can use the art daubers. These go on sure. uh, the end of your finger yeah. and you can use like those. This, yeah. Just like that. They work really well. You can apply those with ink daubers. You're going to go to pink on the flowers and you're going to get another one and do green on the leaves. So you can see that that goes through. You yeah. can see that that got stenciled. But I'm very going to... Very pretty right there. It is very pretty. But I'm going to leave that stencil in place right where it is. Then I get out the glass bead glitter gel. Which is gorgeous, and it's clear. It is clear. It dries clear, and it's got these glass beads in there as well. 
So I'll set that off to the side here. And we have a set of palette knives, different sizes. These mm -hmm. are great. I'm using them all the time now. Very easy to get that out of there. Just need a little bit and start spreading it across. And you want to make sure that that's well taped down and spreading it across those roses, just like so. And you're going to hear it scrape because you're scraping those glass beads into little, uh, into all of those little areas. You, there, you can see them. You can really see them. Sort of scrape it across. I'm trying to get it, you know, even with the top of the stencil, <laughs> but there's only so much of that that it will really do because it's got those glass beads in there. Right. So do that all the way across the piece, then remove the tape, don't let it dry that way. <laughs> right. Remove the tape and then remove the stencil. And when you do so, then you have got, that. You have that. Now that's white. It's not clear. You might ask, why is that? Because it has to dry. Right. And when it dries, it's Voila. like on the other end, which I did here already, that's what it looks right. like. Let me show you again. This is when it's not dry. So step one. Yeah, step one <laughs> step is two. the inking. Leave it in place, do the uh, uh, glitter gel, and then when it dries, that's what you get. So it's the you're looking right through the gel right. onto that uh, inked image. And what I love about doing this is that you get the variation of the colors of the inks through the beads. Right. And I just think it is stunning. They, they reflect on that glass they piece. They come through it and it's just, it's an amazing Let's look. Let's get back in close, okay? Thank you, John. So there you are. Just, just beautiful. beautiful. And you do get the added texture too. So just a lovely, lovely look. <laughs> and on the inside, well, of course we have another row. So you're <laughs> going to want to make, you know, a nice size piece because you're going to want to use it again. Yeah, I love using the entirety of that stencil. You've got a six by six, use the whole thing, and then you can cut part of it, mm -hmm. use it on the inside of your car. Works nicely. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go over into chapter six right okay. now. This is with cutting dies. And Teresa has done a really neat thing. And her idea was to take a cutting die like this viney swirl and use it as a mask. Now the difference mm -hmm. between a stencil and a mask, a stencil, you're primarily concerned with the open areas. Right. I think we might all agree to that. Right. So that's the area you're really focusing on. A mask, on the other hand, is like this. You're concerned with the area around what you're masking. Right. So this cutting die used as a mask you're going to get the ink in between those areas like you're seeing here. So what Teresa did, are you I am prepared going to show, to, that? To show okay. this. Okay. I've got the cutting die. I have it sitting on plastic because it's kind of sticky on the back. The way to get it sticky is we're using a repositional dots adhesive. It comes on this little tape runner. It's very simple to use. So you've got your cutting die. Let me take it off here to just show you how that can be done. And it, they can be repositioned. They can be used over and over. Uh, I want to be careful because it is kind of a fragile cutting yeah. die. And you can probably already see some of the dots on there. You just apply them with this little tape runner into onto the different areas. Right. And, and you would do it with, uh, I would place that on a sheet protector or something. Right. Well, I've got it on paper. Yeah. I'm doing it on paper so that I can just throw okay. the paper away afterwards. So I've got that on there. And then I have cardstock. So I'm going to take that and stick it sticky side down right onto the card so you can see that this was already used but there it is and it's ready to go and I've got two distress ink pads I've got picked raspberry and peacock feathers apparently Teresa really likes distress inks <laughs> I do too I totally understand I like that they're water soluble they can change easily I've got, I had two, but I have one of <laughs> my art dubbers now. And I'm going to start with that picked raspberry. So now that that's in place, you've got your mask in place, you can just start sponging around it with the art dubber. And it's only going to go, going to go in um, these and areas point, around the you're, mask. You're really not trying to cover the cutting die. You, but it will naturally become covered right. because you're using it as a mask. Right. So you're um, getting that all in. Finish. You're looking for another dauber? Got it. Okay. There we go. And now I've got the peacock feathers, the blue, and I'm just sort of going in between. I kind of, I like it when they mix too because then yes. you get that, that color around or in between the blended color you get like a purple. 
Okay, so there I've got an area done, which actually is really pretty just like that. Well, and what Teresa found it. is that her idea was to use the cutting die as a mask. So, okay. so that was where she was going. Right. But what she found as she lifted this up is she liked her colored area, thought that worked, but right. then she looked at the cutting at die the cutting and die. thought, Hot diggity. I'm sure those were her exact words. Right. Um, two and one. That's pretty gorgeous. Two for one. So what <laughs> she did was to cut that apart and let it go underneath these burlap flowers. And isn't that lovely? I love that she cut that up. You know, yeah. it's great. You can take a cutting die, cut it to your needs, cut little pieces off, get little tendrils sticking out of there. That's just a beautiful it's look. It's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So that was really fun. So the idea, again, that you can do things with multiple purposes. Right. And I love the idea. Mm -hmm. Love doing it. OK. OK. And we've got another really spectacular one. Well, <laughs> well, we'll see, <laughs> won't we? Well, I think that's okay. pretty spectacular. <laughs> this is doing this background with plastic bag. A plastic bag. A plastic bag. Who doesn't have a plastic Who bag doesn't? laying around? And I will <laughs> tell you that the, the plastic bag like this uh -huh. um, and having it in your hand, oh, I felt pretty clever bringing that oh, to yeah. it. Because Teresa great. did this marvelous technique and mm -hmm. she had a plastic bag. But because I was doing the whole DVD over the course of a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. I didn't want to have stained fingers. Right. So I was very careful about that and brought in, this happens to be a Subway, which is nice because it really fits your hand. Yeah. Uh, but you can use anything from you, the you produce eat first, department. And then you yeah. sit down, energy for crafting. There you go. <laughs> so what Teresa's done, and the paper that she's using is the silky paper. Right. And she just found that that made a difference between glossy paper and so I'll show you some right. examples. And she's using the surfaces re-inkers. Now you could also use, I'm sure, the Spectrum Noir Spectrum re Noir refill yeah. inkers, sure, that should be the same effect. And the Spectrum Noir look like this. Okay. Um, the surfaces, so either either of them. Surfaces is what she used. So and the there are colors. some nice, really bright colors in the surfaces yes. inks, and they're they're pretty handy if you already have the surfaces ink pads there around. Right. Now the other thing that you're going to need is in a spray bottle alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Right, and I've labeled this, I just keep that handy because... <laughs> Please label it. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally spritz this when you want water. Right. But these musters are great for all that. They're cheap, so you can get a bunch of them and fill them yeah. with lots of different things. So water for one and rubbing alcohol. And several examples or some, several projects in the DVD do need the rubbing alcohol. Okay. So Now these are just going to get dropped on. You want to drop some on? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a do -a. In fact, All I right. brought a plastic bag for okay. you, too. You did just, you? I did. You know, I'm always thinking of you. I was going to watch you do this. I'm going to watch how I know you, you do it first. Okay. All right. <laughs> you were going to enjoy that, weren't you? We want them in different Yeah, areas. we do. We want them mixed up. I, okay. Ours are kind of segregated That's there. All right. We don't want that. Okay. There we go. And then I'll add this. Now, are you gentle with that one? Because that's a kind of a nice dark Oh, one. well, I will be now. I, I was, okay. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Here's your very own plastic bag. Okay. You can do it on your side of the thing. I've got a grocery plastic and then, bag. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. What do we do? And then we're just going to... You don't need to, this yet? Uh, I probably do. Oh, you need it first? <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> This this one, I decided, you know, okay, well, I want to see you do it. Is that enough? What sure, do you think? Sure. Okay, what do we do? Okay, we're just we're going just to it dab it. Now, the reason why we're dabbing and smelling the alcohol Ooh. is because it will give the look of the plastic bag. Okay. And those um, creases. Look what I'm doing. Okay, watch. Yeah. Now, you're going up and down. I was going up and down. And what were you doing? I pressed, I really pressed and then pulled up and it got oh, a different look. So there you, you go. Get different looks. And if you rub things. it, okay. um, you're just going to get a slurry. Oh, yeah, and it's all going to so mix. You don't want you don't those want colors. That. Yeah, you want to keep them separate. Okay. And you don't want to overwork it too much. You're going to add pink? I'm going to add pink. Okay, it's just the sort of gal you happens. are, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, I see that, that green. I, I think the pink will really... Okay, yeah, you're, you're losing your, your right. uh, texture. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Don't overwork it. Yeah. Okay. And what's nice is that after you've done that, just do it inside out and look at that. There you go. Look at that. We're clean. Got it. Which 
isn't a big <laughs> deal in my life, but wanted to share that with you. All right. So this is what Teresa has done. So you can see that she right. kept her colors more separated right. than we did. So it's much more subtle. Look yeah. at that. I mean, it's really bright. It's really bright. <laughs> and then on the inside there, she stamped on top of Beautiful. it. Here she put paper toll on top of it, which I think is really neat. Now, yes, yeah. paper toll is not really part of stamping necessarily, but if you're doing a background like this, how nice to have a focal. And actually, that's something else I want to tell you. What Teresa does in her designing for the DVD mm -hmm. is that she's focusing on this area, on the technique. Okay. So she could have done a stamped piece here and talked about something else for that. Right. But really, for instructing us in some technique, it's really better to focus on the technique. Then what I like is that she does something that's easier for, to finish off her card. Right. So, so I that's think that's great. just neat. You could, this would be great. If she didn't want to add the paper toll, she could have just stamped or stamped and embossed right there. That would look beautiful yeah, too. Yeah, right she could have. And the, she used garden of posies. This is a foil paper toll. You mm -hmm. can see that. Now, Lovely. here is another, because she showed us lots of, this is ah, more of what you and I that did. Is. That's yeah. more, so more uh, ink on there, a little bit more of the green and more of the messing with it. I kind of think if you put less of the dark. Less of the yes. dark or less and of the ink altogether and then more uh, alcohol. Yes. It would well, probably get a lighter here you go. effect like that. <laughs> like that. Play with it. Or like this. Get some different backgrounds and yeah. then you keep these and they're ready to pop on a card. Now this is a much lighter one. Ooh. You can see. And is there, she is put there acetate on top of that? Uh, no, no, that's, that's glossy. glossy paper. That's glossy. Ooh, she I said like that she said she really found <laughs> a better result with this with the uh, silky paper, but mm -hmm. that is glossy. That's Here's really, another color combination. It's much more vibrant on the mm -hmm. silky paper. And oh my there's goodness. a stronger purple. Beautiful. So very fun and non-threatening. Yeah. I mean, you're simple. You're not going to blow it. And if you have kids or grandkids, they're going to see this and they go, can I do it? Yes. Take your own plastic bag <laughs> yes, and don't mess outside. up the stuff. So <laughs> that's that's what I, I really appreciated with her. So this were the, were the die cuts that she was using. Okay. Now, yesterday I showed you a few more things and I wanted to do the same thing today. Do it, do it again. I will do it again. Okay. Teresa did a technique of double stencils. That's an, an incredibly cool technique. It, it is incredibly it's, cool. Is it on top? Is it on the back? Right. It's well, really got a 3D and look. And then look at Ooh. that. Okay. So, two different ways to do it. It's mm -hmm. all explained in the DVD. I think combining stencils is really, really neat. That is an incredible this look. This is using a stencil and turning it into an embossing folder. So this is actually embossed. Wow. But then she did some stamping on top, which I have never seen, and I think it is Wonderful. bloody brilliant. Okay, you've got Isn't to look at the DVD to get that one. Yep. I am going to have to as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is using a mask with a stencil. Okay. So, she did a mask. In this case, she used, I believe, a cutting die. Put her, her swirly, this is an all-over swirl, and did her inking over did the top of it, remove the you mask, end up with this. Then you have to remove the stencil. And you can leave it like this or you can do pen work. So just beautiful. Go the right around the edges. is and smart. Oh, yes, what she can is. I, and she works, the, there's a reason why she only does one stamp camp a year because it takes a year to develop the techniques, to perfect them. I see. And this one I absolutely loved, which you did some of the Mega Flakes yesterday. Right. Here it is with a stencil, and isn't that just stunning? It is beautiful, and you can attach pretty, that pretty. with flitter glue. Mm -hmm. You can do, uh, this is through the, st the stencil, right. so it can be done with flitter glue, or we learned another way to do it, do it you know, yesterday the with the sticky right. embossing powder. So, now there are a hundred projects. Uh, believe it or not, we've only shown you a tiny sampling. Right. So, wanted to give you that, and tomorrow, Oh, tomorrow. Wait till you see what we have tomorrow. A I've been so excited. New product. I have That's waited so six cool. months for this. Uh, <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>